Hey, hi, and hola, mois amigos. Bryce and Juji, back with another episode. Today we've got a good one. 2017, ADCC, Gordon Ryan and Dylan Dennis. Obviously both are very young. Dylan really brings it to Gordon in this match. Gordon handles it well, but Dylan is one of few people to ever approach Gordon with this aggression, and I think a lot of people forget that. Anyway, let's get to it. Straight off the bat, Gordon opens up with a flying triangle. Tactically, this was a great way to open up because he either gets the quick sub or he's in a desirable open guard position. That could have also been with respect to Dylan Dennis's wrestling. At this time, he had been Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach for a year. Dylan doesn't want to go straight into Gordon's guard and does a good job of framing on the face. A theme of this match was Gordon getting his head trapped by Dylan. Dylan wasn't able to capitalize on this front headlock position and secure any type of submission, but it did happen more than once in the match though he was always able to escape. Here, Gordon does a great job harassing Dylan with his open guard, and he gets a really clean entry into the X and transfers over into the saddle. But he doesn't finish him here, and instead uses the entanglement to come up and pass, but gets his head caught and fails to secure control of the hip line, so Dylan is able to spin out and escape the position. This was a nice floating pass attempt by Dylan, but he too wasn't able to consolidate the pass with adequate hip control. Gordon is able to turn his hip on its side from flat to active and he can slip that right knee back up to his chest and prevent his guard from being passed. With a minute and a half left on the clock, for the second time in this match Gordon uses the leg entanglement to come on top but this time he access the leg entanglement with his half guard we can see here he's sitting in the half guard and he shoots deep, bringing Dylan on top of him into almost a deep half guard. He has control of both of Dylan's legs, sees the opportunity to come on top, posts on that knee and begins to come on top. Dylan disallows this and Gordon's able to begin attacking Dylan's back. Gordon almost takes it, but not quite, and they end up where they started. Though this scramble would have looked favourable for Gordon in the eyes of the judges. With 30 seconds left on the clock, Gordon notices Dylan on his knees and tries to take advantage by shooting a double. Dylan is able to get his hips back. Gordon pulls again for a shoulder crunch sweep and ends up using the crunch to access the entanglement and shoots into saddle in the final seconds of the match. Heading into overtime with the scores even, Dylan really turns up the heat. He shoots on Gordon four times. Here we can see this first shot for a single, quite easily negated for Gordon. The second shot, he actually collects the single, holding it for quite some time, but it leads for an undesirable scramble for Dylan, and Gordon was able to spin out, almost taking Dylan's back, and forcing him to turtle. Though he does escape, which against Gordon Ryan is pretty unheard of. The third overtime shot, Dylan manages to snatch a single again, but Gordon negates, and the fourth shot ended with Dylan in the turtle. Gordon could probably tell Dylan was determined. It was actually a nice shot in terms of level change and distance covered, except Gordon kept those grips and didn't allow Dylan the single, and you can see he gets that leg all the way back and pivots 90 degrees on Dylan before an athletic sprawl. Some details on that sprawl, you can see he turns his hips outward and the insides of his knees hit the mat, bringing 100% of his body weight through his hips, making it extremely hard to finish a double leg takedown. And they finish the match with Dylan in the turtle, one of many great performances from Gordon Ryan at this ADCC, and a great performance by Dylan. Dylan was more aggressive, Gordon was more effective, so I understand why he took the victory. Thanks for tuning in. If you picked up on anything in this match that I missed out, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, stay strong, keep training, Oosh.